Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Hey, Pisces, it's Dana. How the heck you guys doing? Long time no see, huh? Long time no see. It's about time for your monthly reading, Pisces. Let's do it. Let's just dive straight in and see what the heck these cards have to say. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. Have a seat. Let's talk about some things. If you're coming back to the channel, as always, thank you so, so very much. All y'all subscribe because it helps my channel. It helps me out. Just do me a solid and subscribe. Makes me happy. There is also a super thanks button that you can smash anytime you want to if you so feel compelled to do so. And if you stay tuned to the end of the video, you will get to hear all about my book, The Ultimate Step-by-Step -step Guide to Your Spiritual Awakening. All right, spirit, source, universal energy. I have the collective of Pisces here with me, spirit. And Pisces wants to know what you know. What do you know about this particular Pisces? And what do they need to know and understand about themselves, their lives, and their futures? What's coming towards this Pisces? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And how do they navigate everything for their very best and highest good? Please tell me where the stopping point is. Ooh, right there. I'll cut three times and I'll pull straight from the top. Please give me the eyes to see it, the ears to hear it, and the words to explain it. All right, Pisces, let's see what we got going on. Ooh, the two wands on the bottom of the deck. The future. Queen of Swords. Temperance. Interesting. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. The Queen of Pentacles and the magician that'll make hella sense in a minute. Some kind of new mindset. Five of cups in reverse and walk away from something. The moon in reverse, come to terms with something. The prince of swords, execution, and the star, your path, your purpose. Look at that, the wheel of fortune. Seven of swords in reverse, letting go of a futile mentality. 10 of swords in reverse, renewal. Seven of wands in reverse, avoidance. The king of swords in reverse. Hmm, maybe your truth, maybe your power. Hmm, 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 Maybe there's communication that's coming to you. Let's see. Ooh, we the Empress Pisces, the Empress, the Tower in reverse, the Prince of Cups in reverse, the Ace of Swords, the Princess of Swords, the Seven of Cups in reverse, the Hermit in reverse, the Three of Swords in reverse, the Six of Cups and death. Look at that. The sun in reverse and judgment and the six of swords. Absolutely freaking fantastic. Pisces, let's do it. Let's see what the heck these cards are talking about. All right. 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 So the eight of swords in reverse, new perspective, five of cups in reverse and leave something alone. What's the new perspective? Queen of Swords in reverse. Okay. New perspective to the Three of Swords in reverse. Okay. And the Five of Cups. All right, Pisces. This is what's going on. Okay. This is what's going on. So, 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 so. Eight of Swords in reverse. First card out sets the tone for everything, okay? This is a new perspective. Unlocking your mind and getting a new perspective about the Queen of Swords in reverse, about some kind of saltiness that you have going on, okay? To the Three of Swords in reverse. New perspective about some kind of saltiness that you have. Three of Swords in reverse is about coming to terms with grief, pain, sorrow. Five of Cups in reverse is about moving on, moving on from the saltiness, getting a new perspective, moving on from loss, regret, despair, disappointment to the Knight of Wands in reverse. Stop investing energy 
in being trapped in your mind lamenting about grief, sorrow, or pain in some aspect of your life. I got to tell you, there's a lot of financial stuff going on in this reading right here. And there is some kind of meeting that's going to take place as well. All right. So we need you to break free of this mindset. Remember, your mind creates your reality. Look, the magician is in reverse right here. Your mind creates your reality. What you think about comes about. Your internal self-narrative creates the life that you live the moon in reverse says, we have to see the forest through the trees. You have to come out of the fog. You have to come to terms with what it is that you know to be the truth about yourself. What's the truth about yourself? Well, you need a new perspective. Some kind of saltiness that's lingering is causing all kinds of gumming up of the machine. To the Four of Cups, it's time to contemplate, reevaluate, and get a new perspective. Yes, the Four of Cups is about a new perspective because this guy thinks he's got it locked down right here. The Fourth Cup is like, no, you don't got it. Take a look at what we have for you. There's more information that's going to bring some kind of stability to your emotional processes. Moon in reverse, right behind it. Step out of the fog, contemplate, reevaluate things to the magician in reverse. This is untapped talents. This is also an inability to manifest, okay? So there's an aspect of this Pisces that is being sequestered because somehow their mind and their emotions are invested in some kind of grief, sorrow, or pain from the past in any situation. This could be work, it could be love, it could be anything, okay? All right, untapped talents, okay? You can't manifest what it is that you're trying to manifest here, Pisces. You just, you just can't because of your mindset, okay? Prince of Swords says communication. It's also a card about wrapping your mind around an understanding and executing it in your life. What is that? New perspective. There's some kind of communication Eight of Pentacles, that is going to be about work, working on it, working it out, making it better, um, um, possibly teaching you how to do it better. But there's some kind of communication that is trying to come towards you about how to make it better, whether it be your sense of well-being or your sense of emotions. It's about making it better, okay? This information, this communication, the star is what you are waiting for. That's why you got this salty attitude back here. Maybe because this isn't happening as quickly as you would like it to happen. Maybe you've been hanging around for a little bit too long in a, in a negative mindset, but this opportunity that's coming to your life is your path and your purpose. It's the renewal of everything to the Ten of Cups. It's the renewal of everything and it brings you an enormous amount of emotional satisfaction and emotional peace. I want to ask something about that Eight of Pentacles right there. Can you tell me a card, one about the Eight of Pentacles? Can, can I have just one about the Eight of Pentacles? Can I have just one about the Eight of Pentacles? The Three of Cups. Yep, what I tell you, communication that is a, uh, possibly an offer to work on something, work something out, do something for someone. So you, you're, you're meeting, you're coming into contact with someone or some people who want to um work with you somehow it's your path it's your purpose it's renewal it's an immense amount of emotional peace and emotional fulfillment look it's the turning point that you need it's the turning point that you're waiting for it is divinely orchestrated in your life it's the turning point it's right there. It's trying to come through, but there is a mindset here of loss, regret, despair, disappointment. There's a mindset here of saltiness about grief and sorrow and pain, and it needs to get out of the way so you can fully and completely engage and experience what's about to happen in your life. 
this turning point is going to bring an end to the imbalance in your finances. This turning point is going to bring an end to the imbalance in your sense of well-being. To the five of wands, it's going to bring an end to your internal conflict, Pisces. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Seven of Swords in reverse. Break free from a futile mindset. Remember, saltiness of the Queen of Swords in reverse. New perspective with the Eight of Swords in reverse. Moving on from loss, regret, despair, disappointment with the Five of Cups in reverse. Break free from a futile mindset to the Queen of Wands so you can step into your success. Literally. This mindset is the only thing that is holding you back from an immense, immense amount of success. Your mindset is the only thing that's standing in the way of this communication with the Prince of Swords right here. The Queen of Wands, this is you in a place of success to the Ace of Pentacles, getting ready to embark upon a brand new opportunity, an opportunity that's going to bring satisfaction to your whole sense of well-being, being earth energy. Ten of swords in reverse. There needs to be a renewal of a mindset, a renewal of a mindset to the king of wands, um, a renewal of a mindset about who you are and what you want out of life. This is a defeated Pisces back here, right? who you are, what it is that you want out of life. And I, I really thought that that King of Wands was someone else, but it's just really a reiteration of exactly what was said here. There needs to be a renewal of the mindset so you can conquer life, so you can conquer what it is that you, you need to get done in this particular turning point in this new phase of your life with these new people or person that is going to communicate some kind of change in your life. A swords in reverse. A swords in reverse is a card about confusion, chaos, a lack of clarity in your mind. Seven of wands in reverse. Um, this is a card about being overwhelmed. And then we have the King of Swords in reverse, which is a reiteration of that Queen of Swords in reverse, which is a whole bunch of saltiness, but also it's about a misuse of your power. You are misusing your power over your existence because your mind isn't upright, sharp, and focused. Your mind is lamenting about something, shoulda, coulda, wouldas, that, make, that don't make a hill of beans for this new opportunity. And you're not seeing clearly with the Ace of Swords in reverse. The Emperor, this Emperor to your Empress, a little bit later down in this reading, twice the Empress is here, okay? So this Emperor is the Three of Cups. It is the communication of the Prince of Swords. This Emperor is the stepping stone to the Star, the Ten of Cups. This Emperor is the turning point. And this Emperor, is directly associated with the communication and they need you to get your mind straight so you don't miss it or so you don't uh, you don't screw it up somehow to the high priestess in reverse this is the upside down Pisces right this is Pisces not being their their spidey self right their spidey senses feeling the situation knowing that they know that they know because this unhealed Pisces is still lamenting in their mind about other things. To the Hermit in reverse. Hermit in reverse is withdrawn. Withdrawn from the soul source. To the Eight of Wands. Movement, action, and change. Okay? So this communication, I cannot make this up. This communication with this Emperor person. Look, I cannot make this up, Pisces. Look at this. Look at that. And look at that. Holy schmoly. So ah, the communication with this person is with the emperor. It is um, a job offer, perhaps a contract offer, some kind of something that is going to make your life um, secure, happy, and stable and it has something to do with what you have been working towards or working on 
But the unhealed Pisces isn't going to be ready for this. Remember the high priestess in reverse right here. The unhealed Pisces isn't going to be, we've all had that situation where, we, where we're talking to somebody, right? And, and, and it's, it's a direct conversation. And there's something said directly. And the other person across from us has this deer in the headlights look. Like they haven't been listening to us the whole time. And they're like, huh? What exactly are you even talking about? That's what they don't want Pisces to do when this situation happens. They need you to be on top of your game because it is the change that you have been waiting for. It's the change that you have been working towards. The world, right? The closure of an old cycle, the beginning of a new cycle. We cannot, cannot let it go with the wheel, the world, and the eight of wands. And for me, the three of cups as well, and the star, that there is some kind of movement happening here. Maybe you're moving to a new place, moving to a new country, a new state, a new city, new job, new opportunity, new relationship of some sort. But the old cycle of your life is coming to a close and a new New cycle of your life is beginning and they need you to be prepared for it three of pentacles teamwork and collaboration is being offered to you the princess of swords communication okay from look the emperor just like this emperor right here communication coming from that emperor i know this is a lot of repeating here but all these cards came out in one big stack so i'm not going to ignore that okay all right to the chariot another card of actual movement going somewhere moving somewhere but more importantly the communication from this emperor is the catalyst for the whole gigantic change in your life and the tower in reverse says it's a rebuild it's a redo. You get a redo, Pisces. It's a, it's a massive personal transformation out of some kind of shit show that was in the past, back here in the beginning of the reading. It's a massive transformation. This particular Pisces with that Eight of Pentacles right there has been working on themselves for a good minute now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, 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 yep. So that King of Swords in reverse, right? This is a misuse of your power. Power over what? Power over your very existence, Pisces. What's the misuse? Carrying, uh, being, being out of control of your mindset and carrying something that is eating at you. It, just let it go, Pisces, whatever it is. Like I said, it doesn't make any difference for your future. Whatever it was in your past, and I don't, I don't care how bad it was. Whatever it was in your past makes absolutely zero difference to your future. Death. There must be an absolute 100% final ending to it all in order for transformation to take root in your life. Third row, first card is... Can you all see that? The Empress. Okay? The Empress, hold on, let me get these straightened out for you here, to the Tower in reverse, to the Prince of Cups in reverse, and then we'll cover these when we get down here. So the Empress, this is who they need you to be. They need you to stand in your power as the Empress so you can be on the same frequency and the same wavelength as this Emperor who's bringing you this communication to get together, to meet, to give you an offer of teamwork and collaboration that is going to change everything about your life. Okay, they need you to remember who you are and they need you to step into your power, tower in reverse, so you can have this massive internal transformation, but also so you can avert the disaster of missing this situation. The Empress is Lesson 3. She's made from Lesson 1 and Lesson 2. Lesson 1 is the Magician. Where your mind goes, your reality becomes, whether you like it or not. And if your mind is all tied up in that Eight of Swords and the Queen of Swords in reverse and the King of Swords in reverse, your mind is not manifesting the path of your best and highest good. Needs a little adjustment. The Empress is made from Lesson 2, the High Priestess. That's you, Pisces. 
your ancient soul leading you, guiding you, trying to point you towards your true north and wanting nothing more than for all of us to understand the silly shit that we lament about in this lifetime does not mean anything to the grand scheme of things in your eternal existence. Lesson three is the Empress. She is the dirt of life because she internalizes those two lessons and she creates her life based on her intuition and the clarity of her mind. They need you to be there, Pisces. They need you to be this. The tower in reverse. So this transformation can take place. So you don't miss this. To the devil in, oh, I'm sorry. Yes, so you don't miss this, okay? What's this all about? Well, the Empress, clarifying the Empress and the Tower in reverse. They remember who you are, Pisces, 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 Pisces. The Empress is the dirt of life. They're wanting to reiterate the whole thing that I just told you about standing in your power, okay? You must be the Empress to meet the frequency of this Emperor. Two Empresses, two Emperors. You must step into your power so your frequency can latch on to this whole situation. The King of Cups. King of Cups to the Three of Cups and the Fool, Pisces. Yep, yep, yep. This situation, this person, this emperor, this offer, this opportunity, this beautiful transformation, your path, your purpose, your future, all of it is about to bust through the door, Pisces. You just have to clear the way in your mind. You have to believe that something fantastic is about to take place in your life and line yourself up to receive it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The Three of Cups, meeting, the meeting, getting together, joy, celebration. The King of Cups, this King of Cups is that emperor. This King of Cups is someone who is emotionally in control and emotionally intelligent. The King of Cups to the Queen of Cups, which is later on in this spread, is soulmate energy. The Empress to the Emperor, soulmate energy. The Star to the Ten of Cups, soulmate energy. All of it. Is an ex this is an extremely, extremely important interaction in your life, Pisces. The Fool. It is your path. It is your purpose. You might not understand it when it happens, and it doesn't have to be spectacular. There doesn't have to be a parade that shows up at your front door, Pisces. This is one phone call one text message that that is the catalyst for this whole situation to unfold in your life close your eyes feel your soul and go in the direction that it's telling you to go okay prince of cups in reverse what's the problem here what is the averting of the disaster well it's pisces being emotionally apathetic just like up there to the devil in reverse you have to detach from your own toxicity uh-huh detach from your own toxicity release your limiting beliefs what are your limiting beliefs well the three of pentacles in reverse i can't do this job i don't have the skills to do this job nobody wants me why would anybody want me i'm too young i'm too old i'm too skinny i'm too fat i'm too poor i'm too rich i'm too this i'm too that nobody wants me for for relationship love work because of all of that in the beginning of the reading, right? All of that mental bullshit you got to let go of. The seven of pentacles in reverse. If I, it's just going to be the same old, same old, same old, same old. I'm going to get really excited about this new job and I'm going to start working there and then the boss is going to be an asshole and it's going to suck again or I'm going to get all excited about a new relationship, a love relationship of some sort and then it's just going to turn out the same way it always turns out because all women are the same and all men are the same and all in-betweens are the same. It's just, it's just a bunch of bullshit. That is the attachment that is the restriction to your growth, Pisces. That is the mindset, the saltiness, the misuse of power that needs to go 
so the air can be clear, so the signals can come together and the frequency can match, and boom, this happens. Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords says, you gotta have a clear mindset. Clear, your mind has to be in the game. Clear mindset, power mindset, breakthroughs, mental clarity, victory, mindset to the nine of wands. This mindset is gonna push you forward so you can fight the good fight. This guy is worn out. And this particular Pisces, I think, is worn out somehow. They're tired of trying somehow. And the Ace of Swords says, no, 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 no. Resilience, persistence, continue to fight the good fight. The moon in reverse, come out of the clouds, come out of the fog. It was up here too, remember? See crystal clear, the nine of cups, that what's about to unfold in your life is everything that you've ever wanted in some form, fashion, or capacity. Princess of Swords, and it's all hinges on this communication that's gonna be going on right here. Maybe someone needs to pay their phone bill so they don't miss a phone call, how about that? To the Hierophant, this communication results in some kind of significant commitment in your life. Significant commitment. To the Six of Wands, significant commitment, victory, progress, and success. To the Five of Pentacles, but you have to overcome the battle. What's the battle that you overcome in the Six of Wands to get victory, progress, and success? Your insecurities, your internal self-narrative that is creating the reality that you live in. Grab a hold of that and turn it around because I guarantee you, you're hearing your mama's voice or your daddy's voice or your ex's voice. Mm -hmm. That's not your voice. Why would you tell yourself that you suck? It's not your voice. Seven of Cups in reverse and you're, you're delusional. You're believing something that's not true about yourself. The hermit in reverse, withdrawn, isolation, loneliness. You, whoever this is believes that they are maybe unlovable. Whoever this is believes that they're, that they're not good enough somehow. And that's the internal narrative that needs to go. Three of swords in reverse, right? Come to terms with that mindset. The six of cups the Queen of Cups. You were born a blank slate. You were born your pure ancient soul. What I say about soulmate, King, Queen of Cups, King of Cups, the Six of Cups, between them. Mm -hmm. This is a soulmate relationship. Someone from many, many, many lifetimes is coming back into your life and it is exactly where you are supposed to be. It's exactly where you're supposed to be. They are coming back into your life, not from your lifetime past, this lifetime past. They're coming back from lifetimes that you guys have shared with each other because you need them, they need you. Is it forever and always? Amen. No one knows. Depends on how you act in your humanness. But this is a soul connection and a soul relationship that is extremely important for your future. Extremely important for your future. Death. It's an ending. An ending to the way that things were and the beginning to the way that things will be. It is a massive transformation. I also want to reiterate that this death card to the soulmate of the Six of Cups and the soulmate of the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups over here reiterates to me lifetimes you have spent together. Lifetimes. Four of Swords. So get your shit straight. Get your mind straight so you don't miss this. The Sun in reverse. Not seeing clearly because you're all stuck in the grief and the sorrow and the pain of the four of so of Three of Swords right there. Right? Come to terms with it. Pick up the Fourth Sword. Get your mind in the game. Change your internal self-narrative so you can be on the frequency to connect with this soulmate. Judgment. Conscious, cognitive decision to draw a line in the sand and say it all stops here. Tower in reverse the third time. 
line in the sand. It all stops here today, right now. I am going to stand up. I'm going to brush myself off Six of Swords, and I am going to leave that mindset behind me. King of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune. And the second you do, the turning starts. The turning and the churning of universal order begins to move in your life, and it takes you to a place of a great deal of success. A great deal of success. Wheel of Fortune, was it three times? It was here? Wow. Two for sure. I think it was three, though. Two of Wands, your future depends upon you getting your mind in the game, Pisces, taking control of the voices that do not belong to you. Temperance and tempering yourself. Stop with the, with the, the downtrodden, I, I, I'm not worthy, I'm not good enough, nobody will ever love me, I'm not lovable, nobody wants me on their team, nobody picked, picked me for gym class in high school, nobody's going to pick me here, it's just I can't, I have no chance at this, no, 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 Pisces. Hugely gigantic, significant opportunity is in your immediate, immediate future. Eight of Pentacles in reverse is about not recognizing your own ability. And that goes back to the self-worth. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Alchemist. The King of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, the Empress twice, the Emperor twice, the King of Cups, the Queen of Cups, the Nine of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the Star, the Fool, the World. The tower in reverse, which is beautiful. The moon in reverse, which is beautiful. It's all so beautiful. But you have to release your limiting beliefs so the manifestation can come through. Yes. So the manifestation can come through. Wow, Pisces. I hope that helps someone. If you want your cards read, you can hit me up at thepathofpurpose.org. Stand by. I'll tell you all about my book. Namaste. You are a soul having a human experience, not a human having a soul experience. You are a beautiful thread in the tapestry of universal order. You are ancient and never-ending. You have a purpose, this life experience has meaning, and you are important. Your journey on this planet, in this lifetime, is not by accident. You are exactly where you need to be right now. Walk with me through the antiquated concepts of spiritual ascension with a step-by-step -step guidebook to help you find your higher self and mesh your consciousness with your soul's guidance to live with intention and purpose. This book is gender neutral, religion neutral, and judgment free. It is a safe place to explore and expand your desire for growth and understanding. There is no agenda here. There is nothing that you should or should not be. Just straight talk that will challenge everything you think you know about this thing called life.